My choice to break away from the pack hasn't borne a single fruit, and my lack of skating experience doesn't help. Where you really start to feel it is right in here. That's where the little bit of pain is starting to ooze in. The core exercises, low back, stomach, that kind of stuff is, uh, I think it's key for a sport like this. <laughs> and I'm famous for not doing what I'm supposed to do when it comes to that, which is why I always have a gut. But, you know, still get you from point A to point B. That's pretty much the most important part. So we'll just keep moseying along and hopefully we can link up with some more skaters. I see someone up there, so I can use the company right about now. Let's go catch them. I see them right up ahead. Time to go and latch on and hopefully catch a ride. With 60 miles already under my belt, I'm finally starting to get comfortable with the downhills. If I sit down on my butt, I might lose my butt. I'm hoping it's enough to get in this group. Hey, traffic lights. So this group that's in front of me, I think they're just a little bit faster than my skill set. Every time I catch them at a red light or something, as soon as they go again, I just can't hold their wheel. That's the thing about the skill versus the power. Sometimes people got both, <laughs> and that's what they got. My gamble's looking more and more like it was a poor decision. Everyone in A to A has a race plan. This group works hard on the road and then stops for breaks at the aid stations. Refueling. My plan is to never stop. Don't stop till the body drops. That's the rule. I got a long way to go and a short time to get there. We gonna watch out, watch out bandit run. In my former life, I actually knew how to sing. La, 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 la. Up next, the cannibal's battle gets bloody. Flip Burger shows us what fine dining between two buns means. Can I survive to the finish? This is Endurance Traveler, and we're in the state of Georgia skating from Athens to Atlanta this week. We've already had our fill of soul food and microbrews. Soon we'll be swimming with sharks, but first, let's grab a burger. Welcome to Flip Burger Boutique. I understand you guys might be a little bit hungry, right? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. So I think you're in the right place. Let's go eat some burgers. Great. Right Thanks. On. Richard's innovative creations have landed him on shows like Top Chef and Iron Chef America. We do a lot of different types of burgers, so it's not just about beef, which I think is great, especially for athletes, right? Because not everyone just wants to eat just like a, a beef burger. On an average Saturday, the Flip Burger crew is serving up over a thousand creations. So Richard, where did you get the idea for making all these crazy different kinds of burgers for people? My first job was at a burger restaurant when I was 14 years old, so it's kind of coming full circle. And like, it's such an iconic American food, that we decided no one's really taken it and, and, and had as much fun with it. Flip Burger's true Americana gone wild. They've got turkey, classic cheese, lamb, veal, and just about every other meal you can think of, which is why their slogan is, fine dining between two buns. Basically, anyone who has a love for meals in a bun needs to come here. So this is our Philly cheesesteak burger. This one's kind of messy, but you know, burgers sometimes have to be. That is a beautiful cardiac arrest. Look at that. So, so this is our steak tartare burger. Yeah. You said caveman and you're growling, like that's exactly what this burger is. How about vegetarian? That's called a falafel, which you guys probably have had before. Mm. That is awesome. And what does every great burger come with? Fries and a shake, of course. Richard took both of these classics to a whole new level too. Woo. That has some kick to it. He's serving up fried pickles, okra, barbecue pickles, and rutabaga with red pepper jelly. As for the shakes, this is what's actually frozen your milkshakes, and this is liquid nitrogen. No kidding, Richard uses liquid nitrogen to freeze them. Whoa! It's the second coolest thing in the planet. 
What is this? The inspiration here is a key lime pie. So actually, if you can see the bottom of the glass is actually the crumb of the pie. This is probably my favorite. This is pistachio and white truffle, which I like because white truffle is such a savory ingredient, but it works really, really well with uh, the pistachio. So the nitrogen just made this. Now, I heard there was a request for a goose liver milkshake. Okay, so this is, this is our foie gras milkshake. Nice. I will tell you that it's a lot more delicious than it sounds. Foie gras tends to work really well with sweet things, so by replacing the cream, Real chunks. Give me a little garlic. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's yeah. really good. I think with the foie gras, we like to under-promise and over-deliver. No one thinks it's going to be delicious. It's really good. Next time you visit Atlanta, make sure to fill up on some old favorites with new twists at Flip Burger. And now that we're refueled, let's finish strong. The top seven racers are in Atlanta and powering toward Piedmont Park, and Luis has his eye on Eddie. Luis takes his turn at challenging the pack. My legs are just a little bit on the tired side. But if it goes slow and fast, then I think I can stick with them, or consistently fast. Eddie's decided that the only chance he has to win is to break this group down and either skate to the finish alone or with less challengers because his strength is not in the sprint. I'm saying I, I don't want it to end in the sprint, but I have a feeling it's going to. So we'll keep trying. Eddie's committed to his tactic. Everybody's legs feeling now. Got any issues to talk about? It's like Luis Carlos also has left quad problems. Eddie thinks he may finally have Luis where he wants him. attacks and counterattacks have dwindled the lead group to just four, so someone's going to be the odd man out for the podium. This may be twice, two years in a row now, Luis. Uh, I can't get away. I don't think I can. Oh, no! Stefan Hoffman of Germany went down very hard and is lucky not to be run over by the car phone. Eddie shows the type of competitor he is by making sure they wait for Stefan. Stefan's wounds prevent him from challenging in the finish. As Eddie predicted, Luis is simply too strong in a sprint. I hate having to say next year, this time, I'll try harder. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you are so strong, I want to be you. I trade you legs. Here, you take my legs, I give you. Finally, I Finally, I know. It's so beautiful. You try, 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 try. Thank you. you can cry, it's okay. I cry. Okay, good. I'm happy for you. If I'm not happy for myself, I'm happy for you. Thank you. You deserve it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll help you. Yeah. Yeah! Hard race. Hot stuff, huh? I'm first enough. <laughs> Jessica's tactic of keeping the team together pays dividends as she sets a new personal best time by over 30 minutes. It's really hurt. I hope Dean's with somebody, right? And having a good time. Stay tuned. We're about to swim with deadly creatures of the sea. And can I endure the pain of 87 miles? My back is sore. Well, we're getting close to getting into Atlanta. And being that my back is sore, I'm gonna show you what we do to soak those muscles. After an 87 mile skate from Athens to Atlanta, what better way to cool your muscles off than doing it right here? Imagine swimming in the Indian, 
the Atlantic, and the Pacific Oceans all at the same time. Here at the Georgia Aquarium, you can do exactly that. This is currently the largest aquarium exhibit in the world, with an acrylic viewing window that's 23 feet tall and 61 feet wide. That's higher than a two-story building and longer than four pickup trucks. And did I mention the glass is holding back 6.3 million gallons of water? My name is Jeremy. I'm your uh, lead dive master today, your underwater glorified tour guide. Wherever I go is where you need to be, and it's all out of respect for the whale sharks and the other six to 7,000 individual animals that are in the exits. It's kind of hard to keep an exact inventory Something. when you have your, yeah, exactly, when you have your predator and prey. Yeah. When we do descend down, I'll just have you both roll in at the same time. Fins first, if you could. Watch your stuff on the way down. You never know what's below you. This exhibit was specially designed to house whale sharks, the largest fish species in the world. We're diving as part of the Journey with Gentle Giants program. This is the only opportunity in the world where you're guaranteed to swim with these giant filter feeding sharks that can grow up to 40 feet. These pork fish are relatively unafraid of us, and although we're not allowed to reach out and touch the fish in the exhibit, there's no rule about sitting still enough to let them nibble at our gloves. It took 1.8 million pounds of sea salt to bring the salinity of the exhibit up to a habitable level. Just to give you an idea, the average car weighs 4,000 pounds, so that's a lot of salt. The beauty of the fish and corals is just as intense as the feeling of knowing I could be next on the menu as this sand tiger shark swims precariously close. There are seven different types of sharks inhabiting the Voyager tank, some of which include great hammerheads with its distinctive snout that appears to be used as a secondary pectoral fin for maneuverability, as well as a trapping device to pin prey against the bottom, and sand tigers with their ferocious extruding teeth. The 100 foot long underwater tunnel gives us the perfect opportunity to become exhibits ourselves. Of the four types of rays found in the exhibit, none are more fascinating than the mantas. Nandi and Tallulah are the only manta rays in a U.S. aquarium. In the wild, these rays have been found as large as 25 feet across and have the largest brain-to-body ratio of all sharks and rays. All the years of diving I've done, I've never experienced anything like it. It's amazing. Look who came to visit me. I can't believe the amount of energy Eddie has after racing all this way. And boy, am I glad to be skating with company again. Pretty cool, then.